academics returning from holidays, a bride and groom coming back from their wedding, and a one-year-old girl traveling with her parents were among the Canadian victims of a plane crash Wednesday in Tehran that killed all 176 people on board. The passenger manifest for Ukraine International Airlines Flight 752 includes years of birth, the oldest Canadian was born in 1945, the youngest in 2018. The victims had roots across the country. Many were believed to be Iranian-Canadian students returning to school after the winter break. There were also professors, dentists, doctors, a software engineer and a real estate agent. The Toronto District School Board and the York Region District School Board said that some of the victims include students from their schools. Flags were lowered to half-staff at the victims' schools and board offices. The University of Ottawa said it was so far aware of three students who were among the deceased. Ham Desme Elian, a dentist from Richmond Hill, aunt, told The Globe and Mail that he opened presents with his wife and nine-year-old daughter Rira on Christmas night before dropping them off at the Toronto airport. Bound for a family gathering in Iran, they were slated to return on Wednesday afternoon. Instead, Dr. Esme Elian is heading to Tehran in search of answers. What caused the flight carrying the two people most precious to him to crash four minutes after taking off from Imam Khomeini International Airport? I have friends here, but no relatives. I have to go, I'm alone here, he said. Also among the victims were Iranians with close connections to Canada, including a PhD student who had begun her studies at the University of Guelph last fall. Ghanimat Azdari sent an email to her supervisor, Dr. Faisal Mullah, shortly before takeoff. See you soon, she wrote. Payman Parsian, a member of the Iranian community in Edmonton, said 27 victims of the crash were from the city, the majority, he said, were international students. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau issued a statement expressing his sadness and offering his condolences to those who lost loved ones in the tragedy. The Globe and Mail is working to learn more about the Flight 752 victims. Here is what we know so far.